In my Sawin video, I made references to the four ancient Gaelic seasonal festivals that were celebrated throughout the year. They were Sawin, celebrated after nightfall on October 31st into November 1st, Imolig on February 1st, Beltane on May 1st, and Lunasa on August 1st. In this video, we will take a look at these four festivals. As mentioned previously, I've already made a dedicated video on the ancient Sawin festival. Sawin marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the dark, cold winter months. Celebrations included the lighting of bonfires, costume wearing to help ward off the sinister spirits that emerged from the other world, divination, and feasting. If you'd like to hear my in-depth video on Sawin, I will link it above as well as in the description box. Imalug, or as many people tend to say, in bulk, is celebrated at the beginning of February and marks the beginning of spring. Historically, this festival was celebrated throughout Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man, and in the Christian world, it would become the feast day of St. Bridget. This is due to the Celtic deity Bridget having strong links to the festival. Celebrations include feasting, the crafting of St. Bridget's crosses, visiting holy wells, divination, and the act of spring cleaning. Beltane, celebrated on the opposite side of the year to Sawin, is celebrated on May 1st, and was again observed in Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. This festival marked the start of summer. Cattle were taken up to their summer pastures, and rituals would be performed to protect them, as well as themselves, their crops, and their neighbours. Bonfires would be lit, which were said to have protective powers. People would walk around the fires and even jump over it. Homes would be decorated with mayflowers, grand feasts were laid out, and offerings were left for the spirits. The final of the four ancient pagan festivals is Lunasa, which marked the beginning of the harvest season on August 1st. Again, observed in Ireland, Scotland and the Isle of Man, this festival involved gatherings and grand ceremonies, and even sports events were held known as the Talton Games. Sacrifices were also offered up to the gods, which involved the first fruit and cattle as a way of thanking the gods, especially Lug, the namesake of the holiday. This was their way of thanking him for allowing the harvest to make it through the season. Bilberries were commonly eaten during the festivals and many dances were performed. It's important to note that all of these festivals are now included in the modern Wiccan calendar, which is made up of eight Sabbaths. The four mentioned here, however, were the four historically celebrated festivals in the ancient Celtic calendar. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more soon. Garmahagat.